What's up, gamers? We're here for our week six battle versus the Cell Sharpedoes, aka Sniper. He's probably my favorite person in the league to play games with because we always have really close games and they're always really fun. And let's we'll start the battle. There's not a team builder this week because I have a thing if I don't record the like the day after, I forget the team builder and delete the team when I'm cleaning out stuff. So my apologies for the 12th week. But let's start. I send out my Galvantula. He's Scarf Galvantula because I figured I would do well against his team, especially this wee Vion Step uh, Helios. So I just Volt Switch out to kind of get a read on what he is. He uses Mystical Fire to knock me out. He gets his attack drop. I'm pretty sure that's the secondary effect, so it's not like a thing. I use my Light Screen. I'm a Light Screen Soak set. I'm a, I'm a Light Screen Soak set. That way I can uh, make it so Venusaur doesn't really do much damage to me. As you see here, I do this. And I soak it, now it's a water type. <clears throat> and he leak seeds though, so that was a good play. It's gonna be annoying for me in late game. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to John Fan, knowing he can't really do too much to me. He switches out until his um, Mystery Bits. I go ahead and use Knock Off, just because that would get the Night off something. Knock Off his leftovers, looking good. He defaults away my. Uh, screens, put rocks up because I figure if he's going to defog, I'll make him defog again and get a free switch into Galvantula, which I do. He defogs again, and now I get a free volt switch on something, and the free volt switch is on his ribbons. His Sylveon, I got a crit, probably just assumed that, that was um, normal damage. I sent Jirachi, and <clears throat> I went ahead and went for the substitute. Because I'm sub-combined with a Flash Cannon and Psychic, and I did not want to get uh, hit by the Weavile. And here I start uh, combining up on my Psychic just to get damage and test to see what it was. Green, he would switch out. And he Shadow Balls, he gets rid of it. <clears throat> I go for another Psychic, get some more leftovers. I don't want this in. I thought this thing could be a win con late game, so I take it out. I send in my Spadef uh, Tapu Fini, with Shadow Balls, does 22, it's actually a pretty good amount. I go in, oh he has Thunderbolt, here I thought he was a uh, Scarf for the entire time, well actually yeah, I kinda thought he was Scarf, just to hit Gengar, and that showed me he wasn't. He, he does that, um, I set that, so now I have a little Tapu Fini, but luckily I can still come in on the Venusaur or the uh, Skarmory. This is in the Weavile. In testing, I tested for, uh, this is Z-Mon, so I was figuring it was going to be Z-Poison move. And it was. That does almost nothing. And one thing about my set is, I would have went for Earthquake here. Well, actually, no, I would have, but I don't have Earthquake, just want to make that clear on the set. It's very important to know. Okay, knowing he's going to defog once again, probably. I went ahead to go to switch my Gal, but he makes a good play of going Venusaur, so I basically have to get some damage on something. So I just went ahead and uh, Volt Switch, that was the last turn of Light Screen, so he knows he's about to knock something out. And I send in my Tapu Fini, thought why not sap this, because if he was Earthquake or Knock Off, that would do big damage to my uh, Jirachi, which I'm planning on trying to use late game. And Nature's Madness get 39% off. He kills me, which is good, I kept this low, that's what I needed. I send in my Gyarados, and here's where it goes downhill for me a little bit. Knowing that I can survive any one hit, I'm going to just go ahead and Dragon Dance up. And then I calped it. I thought I had Ice Fanged. I was going to test it. I was like, I need to put Ice Fanged on this, but I did not put Ice Fanged on this. But it actually kind of works out here because I bounce, do a good 14, get the pair up. And here I can kind of tell he's Spadef. I mean, not Spadef Defense, so I'm like, okay, I'll just Dragon Dance up and kill him. And earlier when I was Jirachi, I figured, oh, he doesn't have Whirlwind, so he must have Counter. So here I was hoping for a pair or a flinch, because I knew he had Counter if he didn't have Whirlwind to get out my Jirachi earlier. But I forgot I had Mold Breaker, so instead of um, doing the smart thing and just Dragon Dancing up some more, like I should have, I just went for the Waterfall. I don't get the hacks, which I'm not complaining about. Hacks are dumb. <coughs> I'm not complaining about not getting those. So it's not looking kind of bad because that was my win con. I send him uh, my Galvan shot. He just lets me knock it out since there's no purpose to keep this thing. I send in my Dawn fan just to get the sturdy back, basically. He sends in his, uh, whatever this thing is, Venusaur. I send in my 
Gengar. Here, I'm hoping he doesn't scout for the Psychic, and he doesn't, so I hit him with the Shattered Psyche and knock him out. And I'm thinking, I can still win this. With a combination of my mods, I can still win this. He sends in Helios. I didn't. Uh, it was Scarf Helios. I don't know what the Scarf is. Well, it might have been. I'm not 100% sure to be honest, but it's faster than me, so. Actually, uh, I can't remember the speed off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I'll speed. So I just send in the Dolphin. I knocked off his. Sylveon, which turned out to be a bad idea. You'll see why. Because he, um, Hyper Voices does 92 clean percent, and then quick attacks me, but at the same time, I don't think it really matters. I think he cleaned up the three mons, because now I send in Jirachi, and I'm thinking maybe I can sub up, and he doesn't have a move to hit me. He has a Shadow Ball. This thing just fucking beats me. This thing really got, like, just getting rid of its Choice Scarf was a, t I mean, ban was a bad idea, because... On Hyper Voice, I could have calm it up at least twice and got two kills. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, no, I could have got two kills. If I would have uh, not knocked off this thing, I could have got two kills and maybe one, but now his Weave always cleans up because I don't have Earthquake. And even if I did have Earthquake, Icicle Crash into Hyper Voice would have killed anyway. And that's GG. As always, that was a fun game versus Sniper. We always have close ones. And, uh,. Yeah, here's just me saying, ha, good set, blah, 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 and I died. And that's a 2 2 laws, now we're 4 and 3. We played Joel next week, and if I beat Joel and lost the Sniper, Sniper and him were like, racing for D-Lead. I'm essentially going to put the nail in the coffin Joel's D-Lead, uh, D-Lead. And which we're going to hope to do, because I like Joel and all, but he, he's won like 3 games in 2 seasons. This is his own doing, and I'm going to be the one to finish it. So I guess that's kind of a good ending for him to let me be the one to end it. And just speaking of ending it, that's the end of the video. Have fun with your lights.